Hey, what's up, guys? JTS for the win here. So, um, basically, I'm gonna go for a walk, and same walk you guys always see. The cemeteries there. I'll probably go into the cemetery, show you guys, since I've never. Oh, I lie. I've showed you guys, but I'm gonna go in there so I can vlog and it's quiet and you guys can hear me. I found out some cool news about my. My hair is messed up in the back. Anyway, found out some cool news about my permit and some other cool stuff, so I'm gonna let you guys know about that, but I'm gonna get my shoes on and get outside and I'll pick the video back up when I'm out there. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here at the cemetery now. Um, just got here. It took me about a couple minutes to get here. Got some cool news to tell you guys. Thought I'd share. Um, trying to think what I want to start with. I'm going to start with the boring news. Sorry. Got to save the best for last. Uh, this Friday, which is tomorrow because this is Thursday, I'm making this video. It'll be up tonight too. Friday. I work at Shock and I work Saturday as well. Shocktoberfest, which is a place if you don't live in Pennsylvania, you probably don't know what it is. Um, oh, my phone's being gay right now. What the hell? Anyway, it's a place where you scare people. It's like a haunted house sort, a uh, hayride scary place. I'm an actor, I scare the people. I work tonight. I mean, not tonight. God damn it. I work Friday night, but tomorrow night I work on Saturday. So I'm going to vlog tomorrow night. Um, and I'm going to vlog while I'm at work. Maybe I'll even vlog while I'm scaring. I don't know. Uh, I doubt it. Maybe I could. I'll probably be able to vlog and show you guys where I'm at in the thing. Um, that's probably about it. So I had the camera down. Um, and Saturday night I work as well. I'll probably vlog then too. The Friday night vlog. The Friday the day on Friday when I work, that video of me working on Friday will be up Saturday morning, and Saturday's video of me working will be on up on Sunday's on Sunday morning. Um, trying to think of what else I wanted to. That's basically it for that. Now, for the big news. Um, <clears throat> this Saturday. Before I go to work, because I don't work till night, obviously. This Saturday, which will be October 17th, I go for my permit test. I told you guys I was going to be going soon. I told you we were working on it. I told you soon this weekend or something. I'd let you guys uh, go on update. Well, it's Thursday, October 15th, and I'll let you guys know. Saturday, October 17th, which is this Saturday, I'm going for my permit test. I'm nervous as all hell. But I've been studying for months now, more months than any person should study about a permit test. But you know what? My parents were pushing it off. We were pushing it off. I'm ready to go. I'm a little nervous, of course, because it's a t big test. It's a big deal to me. Probably the, one of the biggest tests aside for the Keystones, which are like our big school test. Probably the biggest test I've ever went to take in my whole entire life. But I'm ready. I'm excited for it. Um... Found out some cool news on top of that. Uh, apparently in this state, when you're 17, your parents get to decide how many hours you drive and when they feel comfortable. And then you can go take your road test. You don't have to do the 60 some hours. But wait, when you're 16 here, you have to do 65 hours with an adult, over 21 with a, a valid driver's license until you can take your license, your road test. But when you're 17, your parents get to decide it. At least that's how I'm pretty sure it's how it goes. That's how we're doing it. <laughs> so, after I take my test, my permit test, if I pass, I'm going to learn how to drive for about a, maybe a couple weeks a month. And then my dad's going to sign the book. And then I'll go take my road test. And then, basically, then I'm going to be a dri I drive on my own. Uh, if you don't know what Redner's is, most people know what Redner's is. A lot of areas have Redner's. But if you don't know what Redner's is... It's like a shopping, it's like a grocery store. Uh, they pay their employees pretty good, especially younger employees. I'm gonna work there after I'm done with Shocktoberfest. And once I work there, save up a little bit of money, my dad and my parents are gonna help me get a nice car, a really good car, because I, I, I want a nice car as my first car. I'm not being greedy, but I would like a nice car. I think, I feel like if I work and I deserve it, I can get a nice car. That slides right in my eyes and I can't see the screen too well. 
Okay. Anyway, sorry for that burp, excuse me. But, anyway, that being said, I will start doing vlogs in a car, but obviously I'm going to be in a car before I have my own car, which is going to be my parents' vehicle, and my dad has a truck, it's a 2014 Dodge Ram, it's a 150, has a 5.7 Hemi in it, that thing, I gotta tell you guys, that thing, that thing goes, man, that thing is fucking ridiculous, that shit'll go from like, my dad's truck, I've seen that thing go up to 130 on the highway, and that wasn't even top gear, that's a fast truck when you don't have nothing in it, it's got, it's one, it's, one point away from being the same Hemi as a Dodge Viper. The Dodge Viper has a 5.8. My dad has a 5.7. It's ridiculous. But anyway, I'm going to learn in that how to drive. Uh, the reasoning is because that's the only vehicle we have. Because my mom doesn't work. Because my dad has his own business. He my mom doesn't really need to work. But anyway, I'm going to learn in that. And I'm actually pretty excited about it. Because if I can learn how to drive in a truck, I can drive anything. If I can drive a big vehicle, like a pickup truck, I could drive a car, a small car, like it's nothing. I won't even, you know, in parallel parking, taking a road test on a pickup truck, everybody's going to think that, oh, well, that's harder. Actually, parallel parking in a truck is way easier. You have way more view out the back. You can see way more. And the mirrors are so much bigger. You can see more with the rear view mirrors. And, the, and it's just, to me, it seems like, I mean, to me, driving it might be a bit harder. But overall, once I get the hang and the feeling of his truck, it actually would probably be a whole lot easier. So, that's basically all the news I had for you guys. I mean, that's basically it. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, that's what I want to tell you guys. I told you I'd let you guys know what's going on with the permit, and that's what's going on. Saturday, I'm taking it. I'll make a video uh, Saturday before I go to take it, um, and I'll let you guys know when I come out of the DMV if I uh, failed or passed. Um, I'm nervous as hell about it. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'm going to start heading back to my house. I'm just in the cemetery because, as I said in the intro, I'm pretty sure I said it in the intro. I come here because it's quiet and I can vlog and I don't have to worry about cars and a lot of wind and it's getting close to the cold time of the year so there's a lot of wind but yeah guys that's about it uh keep subscribing to me my subscribers have went up pretty much actually so like this video give it a thumbs up comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video which will be tomorrow at Shock Cup Fest.